So when you're thinking about making things spin quickly, of course, what you're going to think about, or what I think about, is the Tesla turbine. Now, Tesla turbines are immensely popular and a pain in the neck to make. The reason they're a pain in the neck to make is the disc stack. But I saw this uh, a few years ago, actually, on, on quite a few UP YouTube channels using CDs and magnets and I thought it was super cool. So I'm gonna make a test of turbine in that method and we're gonna give it a go and see how fast we can get it to spin. And of course the magnets are kind of cool because we're gonna be using those too. Now what I've done is taken a CD and marked it out at 60 degrees and glued magnets north, south, north, south onto that. And you have to pay attention on the first layer to make sure you get the north, south right because on the subsequent layers, it's going to lie that way anyway. So when we've done that, what we do is we put a bottle of super glue onto the magnet surface. On with your next CD. Another spot of glue where the magnets are. And then you take your magnets and they'll just stick to the magnets we've already put on in the right orientation, which is cool. And they'll act as a little clamp with the, the glue, hold it still. And then you leave the whole, you carry on like that till you made a stack the thickness you want and leave the whole thing to dry. So while we wait for that to dry, I've taken the actual case and the centre spindle drilled it out with the, some five millimetre holes all the way around. And then I've taken a bit of 15 mil pipe and cut it so that it makes a tangent to the circle there. Now we're going to hot glue that on. Great, there it is, hot glued on. Incidentally, if you want to mould hot glue, just lick your finger and give it a press, it'll mould just fine. Now there's only one slight problem with this, there is no way for the water to get in, so we need to open up that hole, and to open up that hole, a hot soldering iron and enough care not to burn your fingers and just burn through it, or rather melt through it. Okay, so when you burn that hole, stick the whole thing together. First of all, just check that that's relatively free spinning. Then close it up. Okay, that's it together. Time to give it a bit of a go. Let's turn the tap on and see if it works. And there we go, spinning away. That's actually really cool. Okay, we're trying something really Heath Robinson, okay? Because we don't know if it's going to work or not. So Luke's here, and he's going to hold a coil on these magnets that we've got separating to test the turbine. I'm going to turn it on and try and hold everything, and of course we're going to get soaking wet. But let's see if we can actually get a voltage reading out of this. Ready? Yeah. Oh, oh. wow! Half a volt! That's amazing! Okay, that was awesome. I mean, it probably took me about 15, 20 minutes in total to make this thing. So I'm going to call it the 10 minute Tesla turbine because it rolls off the tongue more than the 12 and a half minutes or 12 minutes 40 seconds Tesla turbine. So the 10 minute Tesla turbine, a complete lash up using this magnet arrangement underwater can actually generate and I think that's awesome because remember these things work better if you make them better and they work better under compressed air because that was turning quite slowly just a few rpm where you can get these things to turn in tens of thousands of rpm if you make it uh, and run it on compressed air and clearly this magnet arrangement that we've got here just works a treat anyway I thought I'd share that with you because it is a super simple way of making a Tesla turbine that needs a CD case some hot glue and some magnets and you're away I hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe